All right, I've seen uh, a bunch of information about how to get these rev techs up and running for NVIDIA's, and I thought I'd give my own shot at explaining how to get a rev tech from factory reset. By the way, if you ever need a factory reset, this is the CMOS jumper right here. Just move that, make sure you're powered off, like it's powered on right now, but power off, move that jumper to the other side and let it sit for a few seconds and then move it back and then power back on and you should have factory reset. So I've already done that to this one and I will be turning it on and then to get into BIOS, I have a tiny little screen that's got a weird power on mode, but there you just saw. Uh, I'll do it one more time in case it went by really fast. Eight. And we'll try again. Powering on. The screen should come up with the cards. So this is a factory setup. I'm going to hit escape to go into here. I'm going to go down to the setup utility, which is basically the BIOS. Go to advanced. So to get it working on uh, NVIDIA cards, all you have to do is come to video and you move your primary video adapter to external and then use disable the Radeon dual graphics and then you can that's already disabled which is fine and do not change this do not force disable your integrated GPU if you do you're gonna to have to factory reset again that um, if, and yeah, so if you do that, then you won't get any output from here and it'll be very hard to work with. And that's all you need to get NVIDIA support. Uh, and I could save, um, could save these settings right here. But there's one other thing you can do to change if you want 2080 support. Here I have a 2080 sitting right here. If you want to enable 2080 support, you have to do one more thing. The catch is, if you do it, you won't be able to use, I have not been able to use, more than six PCI slots. Here I have six plugged in. Um, one of them is blank on the bottom. So uh, that setting is down under uh, a chipset configuration I forget where it is no uh, I do like to change this setting this is an optional one I like to put it to the last state I don't always like it powering on whenever I do it and then CPU related no USB chipset no I am spacing on where it is I think it's PCI, there we go, it's a PCI Express, it's on the PCI Express. This is the setting, this is enabled by default, 64-bit um, bar is uh, enabled, disabled, uh, uh, address, uh, yeah, bar has made the news recently, but resizable bars, ad addressable something or another. But it is enabled by default, the factory setting is enabled, and if you want 2080 support, and you're okay with using only six ports, then go ahead and set this to disabled. I, on this particular one, don't need, don't want 2080 support, and I do want to the option of using all eight ports, so I'm gonna re-enable it. I think this is kind of the equivalent of the four gigabyte um, above above 4G option is kind of related. Um, so anyway, uh, the default on that is enabled. Only set that to disabled if you want 2080 support. Uh, some people were seeing that if you have leave that by default, the 20 it won't boot if you have a 20 series card. 20 series, not just 2080. If you have this enabled and a 20 series card, RTX 20 series card plugged in, it won't boot. But if you enable that, it will boot. You may just not get video. So here, uh, I will leave that 
enabled because I don't want 20 series support. F10 to save, and I'll save. And now when you boot, it'll still output video through the integrated graphics at boot time, but then it's gonna switch over and only output video to the external uh, graphics, which is this one right here. Uh, this HDMI port uh, spaced boot, uh, supposedly. But, you know, I am seeing, I don't really know what that BIOS setting does because I clearly see output on the integrated graphics even though I have disabled it. So, yeah, this is Hive running and it'll see the N two NVIDIA cards attached. And it'll start mining. Um, da, 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 da. Mm, show it right here on the screen. Can't see it, but uh, uh, yeah, NVIDIA info. NVIDIA dash I N F O. Uh, oh, because haha, yeah, that, that helps. Um, yeah, spaced out there. When you do set that and you do everything uh, and you save your settings, you should probably power off. And then plug in your two graphics cards. Or however many. You could do this test with only one, but I was seeing, I, I got false confidence when I did just one, and only when you start enabling more than one do you get actually get confident that things are working. And then I got overconfident, and I put eight in when I had the 64-bit bar disabled, and it wouldn't boot. Uh, still some things to play with, for sure. So power on, and you'll see the BIOS come up. Uh, for the integrated graphics, I believe. And if you don't, it's no big deal. Uh, you'll be able to browse to your device and it should be working fine. Now I could unplug from here. Carefully. And plug into here. Carefully. Um, and I don't expect the output there. I could try the other video card and see if that one's working. Always. Risky moving these things around. There it is. So it came back up on this video card. So I guess I just had the wrong one. I thought that would be the, this is the long cord. That's the sh short cord, the long cord, that's that one. That one's in port number two, which I assume is the bottom port. So anyway, it's outputting on that one. And here's our two, it's only seeing one for some strange reason. I may not have gotten the other one in inserted enough. <clears throat> Let me try that again. Yeah, it is only seeing one. Uh, let's try one more time. I'm gonna set this here. Well, I make sure those cables are nice and secure. Powering off. Just making sure that they're in. Alright. I believe they're in securely. Powering up. 
that's this one that it's plugged into, which is in. It's only showing one. Uh, it's possible that I bump this one while, you know, while recording a video, of course. Um, yeah. It works. Uh, I factory reset it. Here, I'll power this thing off. I factory reset it with both of them working, and of course, as things go, let's start one more time. Making sure all these are powered off. I reset my risers. In case I bumped it. One more time. Let's see which video output it's choosing. It's moved, so something about this one's not being seen. Uh, but yeah, we can take another take of this video and get it working again. Eh, it was working before I started recording this video. So, but that's how you do the settings. It should work for you on multiple cards. I have to go figure out why this one isn't seeing multiples. All right, thanks for watching.